Can't just sneak up on a guy like that. I like this Ralphie guy. And don't he let me seems catch like a you good guy. Off again. <laughs> Bye, Ralph. One day I'm gonna cut your brake line, asshole. <laughs> What's going on, this is Johnny, and welcome to a Mafia Definitive Edition. This is the remake of the first Mafia game. I know I'm a little bit late. We're playing on easy because you know it's how we do things around here. Look inversion, aim assist. What is this nonsense? Automatic. Yes, yes. Uh, tutorial show. Start story. Let's get it. Are uh, you ready to start? Yes, yes. Get me in this game, baby. Oh man. You guys have never played a mafia game. This is. This is a treat. This is, uh, I don't know how to really explain it. It's just, it's real good. I'm, gl I'm glad they remade this. I got chocolate milk with me. Like, we just, we vibing out here. Based on the original game by Illusional so Illusion Software. Mmm. Look at this game, dude. Oh, man. Yikes. Chef kiss. You know? Wow. Jeez. I'm stoked for this. I'll tell you that. Woof. Mafia. Now it's been a couple days uh, since this game came out. I think it came out Friday. I didn't get. I didn't really get to it because I was playing Fallout 3. If you guys have not seen the Let's Play, I think we're like eight episodes in, six episodes in on YouTube. Uh, I got eight total, so we got a couple more already on the way. So we're gonna be double uploading this game as well, just to try to run through this. We have so many games coming out within the next couple months that uh, I think it'd be nice to just kind of like have double uploads or even triple uploads if things are going crazy. Um, for games at that, at that moment, so. We have Mafia now, Fallout 3 now. We might transition to Fallout New Vegas and or Fallout 4, I'm not sure yet. I don't, I don't, I don't own New Vegas for whatever reason on PC, so. Yeah, we got some games coming up for sure. I'm excited for it. If you guys are new, make sure you guys do the YouTube thing, like comment, subscribe, show your friends. You guys know the drill for YouTubers, I'm sure. I don't know, but I want this game to hurry up. That's all I'm gonna say. We get it. You made it. Phenomenal. Let's just jump up in here. I don't want to skip it because it looks good, you know? Camera work on fucking Fleek out here. Oof! Ooh, transition on Fleek! Let's go! Paul Tassone and as Vincenzo. Benenzo. Whatever the hell his name was. Luigi. Dude, North. Uh, North. What? November? Well, how'd I get north of the November? Is that even a thing? Uh, November's gonna be insane. Literally insane. We have Cyberpunk. And that's gonna be like... Ugh. I'm so excited for that game, literally. You have no idea. Call of Duty. All of those. Here we go. Man, look at this. Oh, I, thought, I thought we were going. Can we start this already? Chop chop. The noises are incredible, though. Like, the sound effects and stuff. Oh, boy. You Tommy? Thomas Angelo. Detective Norman. You alone. <laughs> no self-respecting badges coming in here unless it's the health inspector. What can I get you? Ah, just a coffee. Thanks. Dip your beak. No, thanks. Suit yourself. So, you yeah. said on the phone you might have a proposition for me. That's right. Well, if you're looking to set up a gravy train, you called the wrong cop. I'm not looking for any uh, associates. 
Good. Because I'm on the nut. Can't even pay for the coffee. But I got plenty to trade. Well, that's yours. How long you been in town? Three years. Caught my teeth in Empire Bay. Well, they handed you the Morello case. Right out of the gate. That's what the paper says, ain't it? And what's it to you? Tough break. Case must be getting pretty cold by now. Well, you got something might warm it up. Yeah, I might have some. And what's my end of the deal? Uh, you want money, some sort of immunity? None of that. I got people I need to protect. Ah, families. Always the Achilles heel, ain't it? So who you got, a sick ma or a wife and a letter of kids? Wife and daughter. And no one else to watch your back, I'm guessing. Wouldn't be here otherwise. Pity that. Pa always said a man needs friends if he's going to survive in this world. Yeah. Well, in my world, it's the other way around. No surprise there. Look, I can't promise anything for your family, not until I hear what you're trading. So, are you talking? Or are you just killing time before they come for you? You think I'm on the run? <laughs> oh, I know it, Tommy. Jesus, look at you. Surely gassed. You haven't slept for days. And your neck's got to be aching from all that looking over your shoulder you're doing. No, the way I figure it is, you got someone powerful mean on your tail, and they ain't giving up until you end up in the river. And you walk out that door without me, we both know you're not making it five steps. Oof. Boss. Yeah, you stick around, you tell me your story, and maybe you got a shot at living long enough to walk that girl of yours down the aisle. Either way, it looks like I'm buying you a cup of coffee. <laughs> Christ, I don't know how everything got so balled up. No one ever sees the hair pen until it's too late. But you didn't get handed a heater in the nursery, did you? No. <laughs> I was a cab driver back in 30. An offer you can't refuse, 1930. Man! <clears throat> We're starting off freaking. Great, I can't, uh... I mostly drove nights, because the money was better. It was at the end of one of those shifts. When I first met Polly and Sam. Shit! What? I want to make sure we're not stuttering on the recording. My gosh, dude, this game looks insane. Get up, Polly! There's a taxi here! We'll be okay! Move it! Come on! Go ahead and get in then, boy. God, look at that! We're through. Anywhere. Fast. Fast. You gotta tell me twice. Let's get it. I got a gun pointed at you. They catch All right. you dead. I'm assuming we're, we're just going straight, away. right? Yeah, Find ways to lose your tail. Well, you got trouble. Drive. How the hell they know we'd be there? It doesn't matter now. We just gotta lose them. Uh, how many cars we got following? One for now. Yeah, but for now. Guarantee it. Hold tight. I'm gonna try something. Oh, okay. There we go. Took him out. Let's get it. Who were those guys? Nice. You don't get to ask questions. We need to get over the river. Take the Giuliani Bridge. Oh, okay. All right. Okay, up there. Hurts like hell. When we're back, I'll wake up the doc. I don't know. It might be okay. Just getting the call anyways. Hey, I see you listening, cabbie. You don't get to listen either. All I'm doing is taking you guys where you want to go. So do that. I'm war- I mean, I'm doing- I'm- what do you think I'm doing? Playing fucking Scrabble in the- in the pass- or the- in the driver? Oh, you can't listen. Well, you're in my car. What do you mean I can't listen? Okay, we're at the river. Where am I taking you once we're over the bridge? I'm getting tired out of questions. 
What do you want me to take you, bitch? What are you talking about? What do you want me to take you? You gotta let me know where I'm going. If not, you can get the fuck out right now. Just get out. You know? More of them, huh? Oh, we're going right through those people. Ah, got him, son. All right, easy. We're getting hit. We're getting hit. All right, we gotta think of this right, right here. There we go. Should be one out of the way. Nice. Good job, dude. We ain't clear yet. Keep driving. We're going this way. More bastards digging the road for the works program, aren't Okay, you? taking a left up this. here. Three crates down. How many motors were at the exchange? Four, five, maybe. No one him, he's called for more. There we go, there's one right here. Sure feels like it. Next time nice. we take more muscle. We sure That's two. Is there another one? I think there is, right? Uh maybe not. They must have sent word out. There's more and more of them. Okay, never mind, lad. We're not gonna last long unless we're back on our own turf. Let's get back to the neighborhood. Uh, oh the man. Up, ain't it? Yeah. We're going this way. We can make it. Oh come on, we gotta turn around. Okay, Start shooting at him. I went left because I didn't know how to go right, and then as soon as I went left, they freaking. They freaking uh, made me go right. Towards the bridge. Nice. Me neither. Okay, so little Italy. Now, your night's not over. Okay. You gotta tell me twice. Just, I'm gonna take you where you gotta go. You think he squealed? I think you zip it tight. We talk it through back at the bar. They're really booking it though, I'm not gonna lie to you. This little taxi can get it. Okay, hey, we're zooming through this. That's the cool thing about back then that always yeah, kinda made me close. like Oh, I guess I'll tell you guys after this. Pull over in front of that bar. Celieri's place. Yeah, that's the one. Wait here. What for? You want a little something from the Don or not? Dude, the Mafia always seemed really cool to me. It was always something like... It's like a, it's such, a, it's like a it's such a cool... How do you say it? It'd be something cool to be a, a part of, like... You know, imagine the stories. I mean, it takes guts to be a part of it, for sure, but being a part of it would be so cool. Look at that guy in the hat in the right. He's like... You gonna get shot right here, or are we gonna get friggin'... Oh, I'm probably gonna get some money. Compensation for your services. Any damage to your car. This makes us square. And I ain't arguing about it either. I'm sure it's more than enough. Good. Don Silieri wants you to know that he's very grateful. So if you ever need anything, maybe a loan, or some honest work, don't hesitate to ask. Don doesn't forget his friends. Yeah, okay, thanks. One more thing. This matter stays between us. Anyone asks where you got that money, you want it at poker. The scratches on your car. You swear. There's bullet holes. <laughs> keep from hitting a little old lady. You got it? I hit an old lady. There's bullet holes in the back of my taxi, so. See you around, kid. That's the cool thing about it back in the day, man. Like, you literally could get away with so much. So much. As long as no one saw you do the thing, you're literally good. Literally good. You could kill somebody, all that. Didn't matter. Could have had a heart attack. Enough to fix the cap. <laughs> Nearly enough to buy a new one. I thought about what Sam said about work. I wasn't interested. 
The money was good, sure, but I didn't want to get in with criminals. Better to be poor and alive than rich and dead. So, right there, back then, I was out. Fast forward a few years, we in this, baby. Chase through the night. Chapter complete. An offer you can't refuse. I'm thinking about doing two chapters of video. Right around 30 minutes or so. Maybe a little longer, maybe a little less. I'm not sure. It's just easier to uh, upload 30 minute increments than it is an hour. It'll take me After that seven night, hours upload an hour. I was back working as soon as I could. But it felt different. You get a lot of time with your thoughts when you're a cabbie. And other people's thoughts, too. You there, driver? Yes, ma'am. Are you driving or loitering? Driving, ma'am. Always driving. Okay. Exit the, or enter the vehicle. God, this game looks freaking incredible. Saint Michael's Church. All right, how do I um, how do I turn this music off? I ain't going nowhere until I can turn the music off. Okay, we're gonna do it like that. Okay. I don't want. I don't feel like getting uh. I always drive careful. Copyrighted. And you'd be the first. All right, tap the that button. Turn on the speed limit, or speed. Didn't see that, ma'am. Drive carefully and respect the law. Okay, well, I guess we gotta drive. Turn that racket off. I can't hear myself think. Okay, that's how you do it. Hold, and turn it off. That's much better. Well, we turned the music down anyway, so. So, church. It's Sunday already. Eyes on the road, please. Listen, I'm trying to get you where you gotta be, alright? Drive carefully and respect the law. Alright, Mr. Carr, you're gonna need to not do that, alright? I'm out here trying to be me, and you're just making it just a tidbit difficult. Alright, we're just gonna continue following the law here. I'm not gonna pass nobody. Take a le left turn. I wish you would hurry up. I wish you would just just do your thing and be fast about it. Respectfully driving. I don't even think that was a stop sign, but that's alright. We're doing it. We gotta merge here. Stop there. By the park. Listen, I'm working on it, alright? It only goes so... What are you? Are you fine? Here you go, Saint Michael's. That'll be thirty cents. The only tip I'll give you is to stop smoking in your vehicle. I felt like I was sitting in an ashtray. I don't like this chick. Sure, whatever you say. Nice. These Italians are all the same. <laughs> All right, find another fare. We gotta find. Gotta find a new fare. Okay. How am I gonna do that exactly? We get to go to like a, a certain point, or how does this work exactly? Is this the thing in the blue, or is that a police? Oh, it's probably the uh, this white speck on the map up here. Up here on the right here. I got I got, I got you, I got you. I'm coming. Alright. Art gallery. Give me that quick. You got sure. it. Quick I can do. I gotta turn around. What's it to you? Not much, just talking. I'm paying you to drive, so do that. Bart, don't stop, man. Look at him out there. The problem with this downturn is that it's made people lazy. Giving them an excuse. The work's not out there, pal. The work is always there. You just have to find it. I get it. 
You're a busy guy. I don't see so many these days. I saw this crapshoot depression coming. Saw that before the crash. So yeah, I get to be busy. Your busy day is gonna be looking at old paintings? I have a business meeting there with a colleague. Not that it's anything to do with you. If you ever find a real job, then maybe you'll understand. Until then, drive and quit bothering me. Yeah, yeah, I get you. Man, people back then were freaking rude, you know it? I don't like rude people. And you're entitled to your own opinion, but... You're gonna be a dick about it. 42 seconds? We got a freaking haul. Oh, we're scooting now. We're doing 60. In a taxi, baby. We just... We scooting. We got a police up here. Ho hopefully he don't turn. Oh, he's definitely gonna turn. Oh, my God. 24 seconds. 20 seconds. I'm hoping I can just pass this guy. I got 10 seconds. 6. 5, 4, 3. Thanks, pal. Made that it literally in lick of time. Don't spend it all at once. I'll try not to. Let's go. Dude, I yeah, literally got here like a zero second. Son of a bitch. <clears throat> On to the next. We gotta do another one? Okay. That we can do. One right up here, actually. You got it, coach. Go ahead and get in, Pat. Alright. Oh boy, you look like shit. I've been working since five. What's your excuse? Booze. Figures. Booze. <laughs> Where are we going? Little Italy, 21st Street. Okay, where am I going? Okay. Okay. If I don't tell the cops about the liquor on your breath, you don't tell them when I break the limit. Good deal. Great deal. Got any good fares today? Yeah, some. <laughs> but never enough of them. Who's got the money for cab rides since the market tanked and it all went to shit, I guess. Only reason I got you taking me places is I'm drunk and don't know better. Cops see enough drunk fellas. They're only after the people moving it and selling it. Yeah, but I've seen them go after guys for less. Yes, yeah, so if they think they can shake that out of you, they will use any excuse. <clears throat> this city's corrupt as all hell. Sure is. All right, we are coming up on it. Nearly there. It's up here on, on the corner. I damn it! Hey, my fucking. First, I actually hit somebody. But I was I had enough room to be honest. He's freaking. Hey, my cousin has train a thing. coffee stand around the corner. Tell him Lucy out sent you. Take a break, huh? <laughs> Thanks. Might just do that. This man's been just drinking, son. Whoa, Jesus. Oh, what the? Hey, how you doing, pal? You remember me? Yeah? What the fuck? What an asshole. Oh, oh man. Was a little bent. Shouldn't go help in Salieri's goons, huh? I'm gonna have to give you a beating. Just so you always remember who runs this town. Make it so you won't do much rocking for a while. Eh? Oh, we're running, huh? Oh, we're running. <laughs> look at this guy. I didn't think he'd make it fun. Let's get him. Get him, huh? You look like the Joker. Get away from here! So Alright, we gotta run. We got this. They're shooting at me? This guy's insane. These dudes are ridiculous. Oh. 
I tried, tried turning, it didn't work out there. Oh my god, guys, you guys need to run. Would you run? Why are you freaking stopping? Go, go, go. Ouch, we're getting hit. Oh, we're just, we're just getting the hits. Today, today. I'm not going over, we're going through. See if we can lose him a little bit. Excuse me! Sorry! I'm getting shot at. Look at this. How you doing, kid? Dino, Lou! You got business with the Don? Nah, we just trying to talk to that cabbie over there, that's all. That right. Yeah. Well, this here's the Don's favorite driver. So anything you gotta say to him, you can say to me. Is that right? Well, I'll tell you something, pal, we ain't leaving empty-handed, that's for sure. Well, then maybe you ain't leaving at all. <laughs> uh Okay then. He's like, well, what are we doing? Are we gonna just stand here or see your boys around? Let's go, Lou. <laughs> and they will freaking hit they'll, they'll shoot your ass in the street too, they don't care. Come on! Let's go say hi to the Don. Don Silieri? Yeah. He's gonna wanna hear about this. Back streets of Little Italy. Picker complete running man. Alright guys, I think we're gonna end this right here. I know it's not very long. I know we didn't really do much, um, but we are running up on 30 minutes or so. Actually, you know what? No. We're doing another one. I'm- I'm addicted. Let's go. We'll do one more. Molotov Party, 1930. What do they call you, son? Thomas. Thomas Angelo, sir. Frank told me you ran into some trouble? Yes, sir. My cab got smashed up pretty good. Morello's thugs went after him by the kind of Tommy helping us. Shut your mouth. <laughs> this, uh, taxi. That's your livelihood? Yes, sir. I feel a sense of responsibility here. So I'm gonna set you up with a small loan, enough to get that cab of yours fixed up. Again. Well, I appreciate that, sir, but I'm not looking for a handout. Then what are we doing here? I just want a shot at the bastards who wrecked my cab. You hear that, Frank? The kid wants my permission to get into a fight. Yes, I heard. Okay, Tommy Angelo. All the Morellas girls hang out at a bar he owns. Paul, you know the place. Sure do, boss. Good. You can ride along with Tommy. There's a lot right next to the bar where they park their cars. Go smash up a few tin cans, send Morello a message. He can't rough up hard-working Joes in my neighborhood without getting a black eye. Thank you, Mr. Salieri. I won't let you down. And Tommy, when you get back, we'll talk about what's next for you. No one else knows you here, so tread careful, okay? Hey. Sure. All right. Well, I guess we're starting to really get into it. Look around the bar. Nah, you got more time to what we got here? Grass. Read a note. Don Cellieri, I'm writing to let you know of my joy to hear that you will be attending the wedding of my daughter. Please, if there are any other further arrangements you would wish for, let me know. It will be a, a wonderful day, and for the world to see that the occasion has your blessing, you will make it even more special and memorable. Your little friend, Giovanni Romano. Find anything good? Who's the new guy? Yeah, I... I'm watching you. We're helping him out. Got it? Hey, get out of my face. I'll fuck you up, alright? 
I don't think you understand. I'm a beast. How do I get in here? I hate sitting around. Born as hell. Game kind of seems framey. A little bit. Not a lot. Just, it's just enough. Newspaper, September 3rd, 23rd, 1930. Prohibition here to stay. Production and sale of alcohol to remain illegal. In a speech to gather press, President Herbert Hoover reiterated today that the noble uh, experiment of prohibi prohibition will remain in place. Forced to respond to Democrat criticism, Hoover also pr promised a more efficient and better funded prohibition bureau prevent profiteering and smuggling. Huh. Alright, I gotta join Polly now. Come on, Polly. I got places to be. Okay, come through this way. Waiting for you. He's a loud mouth, but Frank and Adon have known him since forever. Well, let's get it then. We go see him whenever we need to do any heavy lifting. We make sure we're well healed for when there's trouble. So we're grateful for his dough. We gotta go. Let's just go ahead and do it then, coach. Talk to Vincenzo. Vincent? Vincenzo. My Jonah Vincenzo. Ciao, Polly. Oh, she's gonna sing. <laughs> Who's this then? Vinny. This here's Tommy Angelou. We're doing a little job together. All right, good, good. Hey, you just need bean shooters or ruts? Nah, we just need something to write off a few cars. Huh. Oh, I got just the thing. Molotovs. Oh, this bats. should do the trick. <laughs> oh! If the bat don't work out for use, I got a few cocktails here. Ay, ay, ay. Careful with him, though. Don't want to burn off your short ears. <laughs> Good to meet you, Todd. Right, we when got them all. Paul, it gives you, the hard time. you got it. Did I get a bat, too? I hope so. Ralphie's in the garage. Wait, what's over here? What is this? Alright, can I get through here, sir? Or not. I was trying to read that, but that's okay. I guess I'll do it later. I'm coming down the stairs, slowly but surely. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Dr. Ralph. You gonna give me a car? Hey, genius! <laughs> Get your head out of your ass! <laughs> <laughs> Polly, you can't, 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 can't just sneak up on a guy like that. Uh, I'm sorry, Ralphie. I'm just busting your balls. <laughs> see, 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 you're still a little limping. Guess we got two, 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 two cripples working here. <laughs> we ain't nothing alike. You got that, Ralph? Sure, 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 sure Papa Polly. Yeah. Tommy. Tommy Angelo. Good to meet you. I like Ralphie, man. Like I said, he seems like a good person. Ralphie here's a crack deck. Well, you bring him a stolen car, he'll make it yours. Tom and me, we got a job to do. We need some wheels. How about this one, Papa Polly? It, it, it ain't a ha 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 rod, but it, it'll get you across to, to, to town. All right, let's go. You're driving. I like this Ralphie guy. And don't he let me seems catch like a good you guy. Off again. Bye, Ralph. One day I'm gonna cut your brake line, asshole. <laughs> I don't know what Ralph's trying to pull, giving us this motor. Oh my god. Okay, we're going, we're going left. something about the good life, and you're driving something my mom could have bought 20 years ago. If I know Ralph, he probably got it taken out of our yard. Yeah, the car's fine. It's good to get a change from the cap. You don't have to be nice this about it. This thing is super slow. So, was that whiskey back there in the truck? Yep. Good supplier. You guys deal in broad daylight? Normally, no. Nah. Alright, this is like fully going, dude. Drop off. And the cops know better than to come sniffing around our turf. Morello, the guy whose cars you gonna torch? He's got more friends on the force than us. But we're okay. So long as we're careful. Oh, we're just now hitting 40. Some of the Canadian whiskey that comes through? You want a bottle? 
Just ask. We'll keep some back for friends. Ah, I'm no big drinker. I used to tip back bathtub gin most days, but not so much now. That stuff's no good for you. You don't have to go blind now, though. The boss, you got a line in the good stuff. Well, that's good of you. Thanks. Not just the booze we supply, Tom. It's the places we deliver to. The dames they got in these places. Best tables, best food, best skirt. Some way to live. Right now, all I want to do is wreck the day of the bastards who wrecked mine. Sure, sure. Besides, all this could get a guy in trouble. I bet the mop wait. says the guy is about to send fire to Morello's parking lot. <laughs> I got you to protect me. It'll go fine. Well, if it don't go fine, try not to let him see your face. Either that, or you hit him so hard they don't remember it. So I'm saying like the I bet the mafia was the good life back then too, like because they had the most money. They were making just a, a ridiculous amount. So you're talking the funnest of everything, food, liquor, all that. Like like he said, this course is not a good time. I can tell you that. I'm like this is like I'm all the way down on my trigger right now. And I'm still freaking yeah, barely going 20. There's some kind of line between his streets and Celieri streets. Not really. There's always some give and some take. Though in general, we look after Little Italy, and his guys work North Park. And more besides. If you're walking on the wrong sidewalk, in the wrong part of town, you start getting a sense you need to be someplace else. You can feel it long before they start appearing on street corners to stare you down. Right. Oh my god, we're just chugging, lugging, lugging along, dude. Here we go, here we go. Okay, it's close by. Morello's goons smoke and jaw up front and leave their motors out back. There's some lazy bastards. We put some gorilla on guard duty, but it's always some no name schmuck. Come on, over here. Well, we got some red. We got some red uh, dots here, so. I'm a coming. I'm a coming. Okay, you go quiet. You know how to go quiet, right? Yeah, like that. He's got his main guys. You'll get there someday. Yeah, we got some people back here for sure. Sneak behind Paul. Sees our heads. No one tries to pop them. Very true, very true. I'll give it to you. All right, here we go. Get over this gate and up onto their roof. I'll go keep their chump busy while you creep up and jump in from behind. And we'll get it distracted. One of your guys in the city real fast. How am I supposed to get on top? Oh, I see, I see it. How do they not see us? That's crazy. Dudes are blind as hell. Alright, eh? Hey! What the hell you doing? What do you mean, what am I doing? There's the cars. I say. What the hell are you doing back there? What? A guy who don't know what... Oh god, I gotta enter it. Look out here. Dino. Dino told me. Dino? Salieri got guys all over town trying to get... Here we go, here we go. Who are you? You know Dino? There was this one time when I had the chance to get him from There we go. Let me pick him up. Got body. Uh where, where should I put him? We're gonna put him down here. See it, it said push A to get behind cover, so I thought I was had to chill back there, but I guess not. I'm not gonna do it for you. Okay, we gotta get a bat. Here we go. And we gotta push B to swing the bat, huh? Come on. Here they come. Oh, really? Get him. Pop. 
One more time. Come on, Tom, quick. Oof! Use a Molotov and let's see some flames. There we go. Ooh, I just did a little freaking bada bing! Watch this. Mm-hmm. Love the smell of burning paint. Okay, I got it. We're good now. Oh my. We gotta go. We can take Dino's car. Let's get it, let's get it. How'd you know this is Dino's car? Come on. Get inside, get inside. Don't bring in the wrong people. Straight through the gate. We gotta get out of here before the bulls show. There's Who let him get away? Drive. Come drive, oh my god. I'm trying not to get hit and I freaking got hit. Alright, uh, we're doing fine. We got it. No big deal. We just gotta oh, get shit. going. We got cops. We'll be all right. So, uh, what do we do? Yeah, we're pretty much gone now. We lose them by driving real fast and getting clear of them. Here we go. Sounds good. Right now they're pissed. But let's not get them real pissed. We're good. We're out of here, coach. This I think about these mafia games, man. These uh, these cars they do not turn at all. So you gotta really gotta like slow down, and then go. Because if not, you're gonna be just freaking swinging it so, so wide. And it's hard to, uh, get it back, so. They're right behind us, though. They're right behind us. Oh, wait, they stopped. Let's go. Some street cops, sure. But Morello's got the chief in his pocket. Alright, well. How'd it feel? Feel good? How'd what feel? Taking out the guy. Taking Dino's car. Feel good? Yeah. I guess it did. There's no time like the first time, Tom. Don't get better. You think it's for you? This life? What's it to you? Hey, I'm just asking I'm questions. Just asking questions, man. I like asking questions. Tommy, relax. <laughs> I doubt that every day you and Sam go and panel beat motors in parking lots. Man. There's busy days, there's slow days. Had more of an introduction than I ever got. Oh, I can't see. Never got to beat up Dino's pals and take his motor. Nah, stole enough cars to get noticed, I guess. When I got squeezed by the cops, knew never. Going right down the middle. And one day I found myself in a yard behind a bar drawn with Vincenzo. Ten years go by and I'm still there. So, I got a suit now, and Vinny's an old bastard. <laughs> I always thought that to be in a family you had to have more. Connections. Your brother or your uncle. Or... Oh, some guys, sure. Your cousin got made, or you like Carlo, whose pop went way back with the Don. That means you get trusted more when you're starting out. There's plenty of us who came in off the street. I'm thinking we get you in front of the boss, then we tip a few. Well, I don't got plans, so. Sure, you don't got plans. Plans are to feed Vinny so much booze that Luigi has to roll him out the door again. <laughs> well, what happened to the car I sent you out with? Dumped it. Well, why? Well, why? It was a boiler. This one's better. A b -b better car with a b -b broken window? <laughs> Fresh air never <laughs> killed nobody. You think sort of running up to him like, oh, whoa, 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 why? I don't understand why you're doing this. <laughs> I like Ralphie, man. He's great. Right, let's go talk to the uh, the Don. He's still with you then. Somehow, yeah. Hey, boss. It's done. No trouble. Yeah, nothing we couldn't handle, Mr. Salieri. Good, good. Sit down. You see Morello? Nah. But he'll be plenty pissed when his boys tell him what happened. <laughs> He's not going to be able to think straight for weeks. See. That's the difference between me and Morello. I'm a businessman. I do everything with this. Every decision I make, it's what's good for the business and my boys. But Morello is a hothead. And all that anger burns out the brain. And when he gets mad, he gets stupid. You got nothing like that to worry about with Tommy here. He was aces the whole way, boss. I'm glad to hear it. I got a growing business here. We could use a guy like you to help out around the bar. Maybe run some errands. Make sure the bills get paid on time. You up for that? Oh, it'd be an honor, sir. 
Good. Good. Now, Polly and Sam have already vouched for you, but you need to understand we have a few rules around here, so you listen and listen good. First, no cursing on the premises. There's a million words out there. And the man who needs to resort to fuck this and fuck that is just ignorant or lazy. Second, we don't deal in the hard stuff. I don't want any dope fiends in this neighborhood. We'll let Morella poison his own people if that's what he wants. Finally, stay out of trouble with the cops. We only have a few on the payroll. And if you cross the line, the rest will come after you. You understand? Yes, Mr. Salieri. Then I'm going to only ask you for one more thing, Tommy. I don't keep Paulie and Sam around just because they're strong. There's a lot of guys out there bigger and tougher than these two. And I don't keep Frank on apparel because he's smart. Though he is an artist with the numbers. All these guys in this room, they're here because they have the only thing that matters to me. The only thing that should matter to any of us. Trust? You know what that is, Tommy? Trust, I bet. Or something, something like that. They're loyal. Loyal. That's right. Now, you stay straight with me, you're going to be living the high life, Tom. But you abuse my trust. Don Salieri, you won't ever need to worry about me. Okay, then. Welcome to the family. <laughs> we in, baby. Excellent. Now I'm starving. Luigi, let's eat. Welcome. That's so cool. A barman Luigi is not much of a cook. But his daughter, Sarah, Maron. <laughs> All right, guys, this is where we're going to be ending episode number one of the Mafia Definitive Edition. Ah, man, I, we're, we're, we are in the family. We have just got to welcome. So if you guys enjoyed it, make sure you guys do the YouTube thing, like, comment, subscribe, and show your friends. Always, guys, I'm Mr. Johnny, and I'll be seeing you guys in the next episode of Fallout 3 and or Mafia Definitive Edition. Uh, see you guys soon. Bye.